Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can disable all debug log messages. So, you've created a fully complete game, but you've got so many debug.log messages, and you don't want to go through all of your code deleting them. And I'm going to say two things. Firstly, it is recommended to delete them, or make your own wrapper class so you can easily disable and enable certain debug log messages. However, if you're like me and have been in a situation where you have hundreds scattered throughout your code and you just need a really quick way to disable them in a built version of your game, like if you're going to be doing a Windows build, an Android build, a web build, whatever, I'm going to show you how you can quickly do that. So let's get right into it. So in your assets folder, right click and go to create and then go to C sharp script. And we're going to call it disable debug logs build. And once you make the script, I want you to open it up. And I want you to do the following code. So it will be in the description below for you to copy and paste. But basically, we're going to do square brackets runtime initialize onload method runtime initialize load type dot after scene load. So basically, the function that's below this line of code here will execute once when we load our first scene. So we don't actually need to put this script anywhere in the code. We ju it just needs to be in our assets folder. And then we're going to do public static void disable logger outside of editor. So I'm going to assume you want to keep your debug logs when you're in edit mode or in a development build. It's just when you deploy it for other people to play like for a finished product. And inside here you need to do hashtag if unity editor or development build, then debug.unitylogger.log enabled equals true, else debug.unitylogger.log enabled equals false. And then you could do an end if, and then you could do curly brackets. And you might be thinking, okay Max, why does your if statement have a hashtag before it? And basically, we're making a preprocessor directive. And this is a special kind of instruction in our code that tells a compiler to include or exclude certain parts of code based on specific conditions before it actually compiles the code. So basically, when we build our game to, let's say, WebGL or to Windows or to whatever, Unity's going to check this if statement. And if it's not a development build, that means the logger is going to get disabled in that build. However, let's say we hit the play button in the editor, this if statement's going to occur, and it's going to be like, okay, we're in the Unity editor, therefore we want to enable log messages. And by the way, this will disable all types of logs, so it will do log errors, or log warnings, or debug.logs. It will disable all of these, but this can be a really quick and simple solution to a problem of having too many debug.log messages that you can't go through. Obviously the best cure is preventing that, but this is there for those of you who are like me who made this mistake. So once you save your work, you can go back into Unity, and if I hit play, you're going to see all the debug.logs are there. But just to prove that this works, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to also set this to false, just so you can see that this if statement does work. So if I hit play now, there are no debug.log messages. But if I set this to true again, as you can see, all of the debug.log messages are back. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.